and welcome to day 22 of the challenge. Today I want to talk to you about your autoresponder sequence, which is the, the series of emails that are auto-delivered to a new subscriber on a particular schedule. So usually it'll be like you'll get the welcome email, which is day zero, and then maybe the next day you'll give them another message, day one, day five, day seven, whatever intervals you want, but it's all based on when they actually subscribed. Now a lot of people, they tend to get a little bit, you know, confused as to what to exactly do with the autoresponder. So what happens is you don't use it and they just end up doing these one-off broadcasts all the time. And I've fallen into this trap myself. In fact, most of my time online, this is the way that I've done it, was just with these one-off broadcasts. Now, I've been reevaluating some of that lately with some new information that I've been learning, and I want to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about, combining some things that I already knew with some things that I just like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. So let's go over to my screen. Let me actually draw this for you. Okay, first I want to make something clear, and that is that your blog should have some kind of a purpose to get your reader to accomplish something. So let's say there's this mission here that they want to accomplish. Let's see if, how well I can type that. And your reader is here, and your blog is kind of taking them to this point. And you are basically dancing around you know, in this range right here with various... Uh, blog posts, videos, things like that to help them do various things to get them to some core mission that they're trying to accomplish. So in my case, um, people are trying to create a an online business based around blogging or online publishing. That would be their mission. Most of my readers tend to be over here and in, in that they're, they don't know how to do this yet so that my blog and other blogs like mine talk about these things. Now, what you can do is take the various roadblocks that one would usually hit, like let's say website uh, number two, uh, traffic, you know, just like list out the things here that are the various roadblocks, the various things along the process that they're going to have to get through in order to accomplish that mission right there. Um, and then what you can do is have your autoresponder set up to help them get through these various things. So you'd have very, uh, a set of emails that have to do with creating the website, another set of emails having to do with traffic, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, these are going to be different depending on the type of market that you're in, but you're basically identifying the roadblocks, the various things that they're going to come across as they're trying to get to this point that they're in. Now, what do we do with the autoresponder sequence? Once you've identified those things, you can do a few things here. They're, they get onto the list at day zero and they get this email. What you could do here is set expectations as to what they're going to be getting. Uh, then they're going to get another email, and then another email, another email, like etc. You know how this goes. They're basically just going to go through time here. Now let's say, um, let me break this up. Let's say there's a sequence of emails here that have to do with website, and then a sequence of emails that have to do with traffic. And you, and you can break this up, and, and each one of these is a story, a story. And so you're not pitching things to them here. You're actually helping them along and you're helping them through the use of story um, and, and things like that in order to actually help them accomplish things. Now, another thing here is that you have this these emails here, which are my funky little squares here. You've got your blog out here. And you've probably got all kinds of stuff in the archives here. So let's say you can have an email here that leads into one of your good posts, another one that leads into the good post. This one might give a complimentary product. And then you can lead them into another blog thing. And then let's say you have another one and it leads down into a complimentary product. These are the kinds of things that you can do with your autoresponder sequence. And here's another thing. Let me draw this out before we end off here. Again, draw our beautiful series of emails here, our funky looking squares. 
if you plan these emails out in advance, so you're actually gonna write these emails probably in one or two sittings. You're, these are not one-off emails where every single email needs to be its own thing. Instead, what you can do is leave cliffhangers in one that leads into the next. You can leave another, again, and then in this email, maybe in the PS, you leave another one that leads this one. Now here's, you can even do this a little bit more um, ninja, so to speak. Let's say you've got, you know, let's five emails here. This one leads to this one. Now this one, you've got um, some cliffhangers or you're alluding to things that might come up over here. Uh, you know, you can also do the same here, but what happens is you're, you're generating all these open loops with your reader. So they're going to be now looking over, looking forward to closing this loop that you've created because they now want to see what the heck you're talking about. So this is a way you can get people to go along with you in your autoresponder sequences and they will increase open rates because now they've got this open loop and they're really going to want to open this in order to get this loop fixed, you know, in order to close it and know what you're we're talking about. Uh, but you can also use the, whole, the re autoresponder to get people to come back into your blog archives as well as to, uh, promote relevant products. And again, don't pitch products. They, your products should be geared to where they are natural extensions of what you're already talking about and a way to make their lives easier and get over those roadblocks that we identified going into it. So that's how you best use your autoresponder sequence. Hope that was helpful, even though my drawings were pretty crappy. And I will see you guys tomorrow.